Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to make your scatter plots for your Beer's Law Lab. I'm doing this tutorial in Microsoft Excel. What I've done here is I've already entered some sample data. Now don't use this data for your lab reports. Use the data that you've collected in lab. But this data is just to demonstrate how to do the plots. So um, I've arranged my data into columns. On the left column, I have my concentrations. And you should be able to figure out your concentrations based on the mass that you took for your copper wire. Um, and on my right column, I have absorbances. And these are the absorbances that you took from your spectrophotometers. I've labeled both columns just so I don't get confused as to what these numbers mean. So we want to make a scatter plot to graph our data and in order to do that we want to first go to insert and click on scatter and we want the scatter plot that looks like dots that don't have any lines going through them. All right, and you get a blank box like this. Uh, we're going to have to add data to our scatter plot before we see anything. So to do that, we need to right click inside the chart area, uh, scroll down to select data, and we'll get a window that looks like this. So let's add a series. We'll call this series Beer Law Plot. And we want to select our X values. Um, to do that, let's click on this icon and then go over to our X values for concentrations and click and drag to highlight the ones that we want and we'll click on this icon to get back to our window and we'll do the same thing for the Y values click on the window highlight our absorbances and then click on the window again and you should get a, pl a plot that looks sort of like this click OK twice all right, um, I like to delete this legend, um, and whenever you make a, a graph, you want to label your axes, and so let's go ahead and, and label our axes here. So to do that, click on the chart, go up to layout, and go to axis titles, and select primary horizontal axis title and title below axis. So this is going to be your horizontal or your X axis, which is concentration. So I'm typing in, co in concentration and our unit is in molar. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do our Y axis. That's our primary vertical axis and let's click on rotated title and our x our y axis is absorbance and this is an absorbance unit all right so now that we have our axes titled we want to add a trend line and this trend line is going to tell us how our data is behaving for our experiment. So making sure we have the plot uh, highlighted or selected, let's click on trend line and we want a linear trend line. Um, and the reason we want a linear trend line is because Beer's law is essentially a linear relationship between the absorbance and the concentration. Alright, so now that we have our trend line, we need to um, edit it. So we need to right click on the trend line, format trend line, and uh, at the very bottom there are a couple of boxes that we need to check. The first one is set intercept equal to zero, zero, and that's because we know that when we have zero concentration, we should have zero absorbance. And the second one is display equation on chart and that will tell us the slope of the line that it drew. So here it is. This 
line happens to have a slope of 0 0.4162. Um, and that slope is important because according to Beer's law, the slope of the line is your extinction coefficient. And you'll be using that extinction coefficient to figure out the concentrations for the unknown samples. Alright, so now that we have our plot, we can resize it to make it look nice and we can copy and paste it into our lab report and to do that we want to click on the on the plot go under home and select copy and I'm going to open up uh, Microsoft Word and I'm going to click on paste to paste my plot into my lab report okay so this has been a tutorial on how to use Excel to create a scatter plot for the Beer's Law lab.